In looking at developing healthy kids with healthy behaviors, we look at emotional development, handling your feelings appropriately. We look at social development, your ability to interact with others. But ultimately, my question is this, what do we want? And that's called healthy ethical development. Ethical development is doing the right thing even when no one's around. Now, I'm warning you right now, my thought process on ethical development is a little different than many people. You see, I went to my mom once and I said, Mom, how did you teach me how to be ethical? And she said, what do you mean? And I said, if I see $10 on the table, I'm not going to take it. Even if I owe money, even if I've got bills to pay, even if no one's around and I will never get caught, if there is a $10 bill on that table, I'm not going to take it. And my mom said, what do you, and I said, so how did you teach me that concept of doing the right thing? And she said, when you did the wrong thing, we punished you. That's how you learned right from wrong. And I thought about that and I'm thinking, punishment taught me to do the right thing? And I walked away from that interaction really thinking because I understood my mother's idea. She was trying to say that she taught me right from wrong by punishing. But then I really started thinking about it. And I went back to my mom and I said, Mom, I have a question. Hmm, I drive fast, Mom, and I've gotten a ticket. So here's my question to you. Has the ticket gotten me to drive slowly now, Mom? And she says, what? Yes. And I say, no, it hadn't. No, I'm going to take that back, Mom. I drive very slowly on the street where I got the ticket, but nowhere else. And my mom just looked at me. I said, Mom, when you punished me, that might have taught me to do the right thing when you were watching. But Mom, you're not always around. I tell you this because as an early childhood educator, you know what our inclination is? is to try to shape behavior by punishing it and rewarding it. And here's my question to you. Are you always going to be around to give them the warm fuzzy? Are you always going to be around to give them the sticker? Are you always going to be there to put them in time out? No. So what I tell people is we have to be very careful because if we're trying to create very ethical individuals that look inside to do the right thing, we can't spend so much time on rewarding and punishing because you're not always going to be there. You see, external rewards and punishments do not create an internal motivation to do the right thing. I don't want a child doing the right thing out of fear of being put in time out. I don't want a child doing the right thing because he's scared his clip's going to move. I want that child to do the right thing because internally there are strong relationships that help him think, I want to do the right thing because I don't want to let my teacher down. I want kids doing the right thing because they're concerned about others. So when we look at ethical development, we have to look at some of the practices in our classrooms and the strategies we use to change behavior. Because if you're constantly rewarding and you're constantly punishing, they're going to start to focus on external rewards and punishments. Of course, the story I tell everyone was the first time I ever read a book to a whole group of kindergarten kids. And I finished reading the book and all the kids clapped. And I turned around, I put the book down, I turned back around, and I had 22 kids looking at me. And the teacher looked at me and she said, you have to give them a sticker if they behaved. And I said, excuse me? She said, well, the person before you, they gave stickers if they behaved. And there were three little boys in the front row going. And I looked at the teacher and said, what are they doing? And she said, oh, Dan, they gave up on stickers. I said, what? Oh, they gave up on stickers years ago. They don't even try to get them. And I thought, wow, it's going to be a painful 12 years for them if they're already giving up in kindergarten on getting a sticker. And I said, take your fist, put it on your chest, and they all put it on their chest, and then they did this, thinking, now I'm going to get my sticker. And I said, repeat after me, I have a happy heart. And they said, I have a happy heart. I said, good, there's your sticker. The sticker is that happy feeling in your heart. We do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not out of fear of punishment or benefit of reward. So you might be saying, okay, that's nice, but if you don't use clip systems and if you don't reward, then, then how do you shape behavior? My question would be to you, how did you grow up ethical? You want to know why you grew up ethical? Because of this, they're called relationships. What are they called? Healthy relationships. When you have a healthy relationship with another person, you begin to develop concern for other people. That's called social development. When you have healthy relationships, you're going to work more to do the right thing. That's called ethical development. You want to know what else you have to look at? 
role models. Role models. You see, you as a teacher, if you want kids to grow up healthy and well-adjusted, then you have to realize that 100% of the time, you are teaching ethical development based on the behaviors you exhibit. That's hard, do you know why? Because as a teacher, sometimes I get a little mad. And if I start yelling and I start screaming, not only am I modeling poor emotional development, but I'm not helping them learn how to handle my emotions appropriately and do the right thing in that situation. If I want kids to exhibit ethical behaviors, then in my classroom, I'm going to always, always, always try to treat them respectfully. You know what that means? Every time I walk in the classroom, I shake their hand and I look them in the eyes and I use my words and I model healthy, healthy interaction. Because if I'm trying to strengthen ethical development, I have to make sure I have strong relationships. Well, how do you do that? You greet them at the door every single day. You have a smile on your face. You focus on the more of the things that they are doing well and right rather than their deficits. And when mom picks them up and says, did he have a good day? He had a great day. We're gonna have a great day tomorrow too. He did awesome. I build them up. Why? Because the stronger the relationship, the more the child is going to want to do the right thing on an internal level rather than externally. We always want kids to look internally rather than externally because that is going to strengthen healthy ethical development in the long run.